Hey everybody, it's Lazy Eye Beauty and I'm coming to you with another video. This particular video is all about the Scorpio man. So if you are dating or involved with or thinking about getting to know a Scorpio man, this video is for you. So I'm going to start off with some of the positive sides about this sign and I'm going to go into some of the negative things about this sign. Starting off, this man is incredibly, incredibly attractive. I have never really met a Scorpio man that did not take care of his body. Very rarely will you see a Scorpio man whose body isn't chiseled, who isn't just, you know, put together just nice. Um, he just has it all together. I mean, toned arms, nice chest. He's just going to have it all together, okay? And it's a part of that sex appeal that they have. He also knows how to stare you in your eyes in a way that just makes you feel like you're the only one that, that matters. Yeah, he knows how to do that. He knows how to have conversations with you now that doesn't mean that he's going to be doing a lot of the talking but you might find yourself doing most of the talking the Scorpio is just really good at listening he's very good at listening and he does this because he likes to study his prey he likes to study his his woman of interest okay so if he's interested in you he's going to listen to you a lot you might find yourself talking to him for hours and he will listen to you okay he will do this because he wants to know you inside and out they're not going to rush you when it comes to getting into the bed not that he won't try if you're willing to he will but if you're wanting him to take you seriously, it's best to make him wait. And he will make and he will actually wait. He won't get upset with you because you're saying, Oh, I can't have sex with you right now. He'll be like, okay. And you'll never see that it bothers him. He'll say, Okay, okay. And it's because he wants for you to want it. Because sex to a Scorpio is it's like next level experience. It's all about touching your soul. A lot of men don't know how to make love to a woman's soul, but Scorpio knows how to do this very, very well. And when they do finally make love to you, they, they like to stare in your eyes and, and smell you. And they like to lick every single inch of your body, okay? This is a man that knows how to romance his woman. You don't have to tell a Scorpio, call me every day. He just does it. You don't have to tell a Scorpio, text me in the morning. He just does it. They make wonderful boyfriends. Wonderful boyfriends. If you're looking for a boyfriend that's going to do all of the things that a, that a boyfriend should do, get a Scorpio. Also, they're not really hard to pin down. You'll date them and if they like you, if they're interested in you, they don't have to go and date multiple, multiple women to see if, it's okay to settle down with you. The way they see it is, I'm attracted to you, have a good time with you, have feelings for you. Okay, let's let's get together. It's as simple as that. It's really not hard to pin a Scorpio man down. Now, let me think of something else before I go into the negative side because the negative sides really aren't necessarily negative, but there are some ne negative attributes. He is good with kids but he's not necessarily trying to rush to have kids <laughs> so you just have to think about that too so if you have children or you're looking to have children he will be the mr family man if he needs to be um and he and he will be he will be there you very rarely will see a scorpio man just walking out on their kids they don't do that yeah they don't do they, they don't do that um, this is a water sign, so he can be very deep and emotional. So this is a man who's more so on, not the feminine side, but he's going to express his emotions. And they hold grudges. So we're starting to get into the negative side of him. He is going to be into kinky experimental sex. 
So if you're the type of woman where you like vanilla sex, you want to kind of keep it between you and him, you don't need to be with this man because this type of man, he's going to want threesomes, foursomes, orgies, um, and some other things. Yeah. And if he doesn't get it, he will cheat. Mm -hmm. If he don't get it, he will cheat. This is a man who can become physically abusive. Because you have to think about it. He did all these things in the beginning to get you to the point where you would be addicted to him. And you couldn't leave him. Because when you fall in love with a Scorpio, they like to inject you with their venom. They like to inject you with their venom. And when they do that, it's like they paralyze you to where you just can't leave. When you get with a Scorpio and you fall in love with a Scorpio... It's hard to leave them because it's just something about them that it's just, it paralyzes you to where you have to stay. You can't, you can't leave him. You can't leave them at all. It's something about their eyes. It's something about the way they carry themselves. You just, you're stuck. And a lot of times they're, you're talking to them and they're just looking at you like this. And they're not saying much, but it's just, um, that type of thing, it's just the undivided attention is hard to find somewhere else. So you'll find yourself literally feeling like you cannot leave him. And so you'll want to give in to what it is that he's asking you to do. And they'll be, each, each request will be almost dirtier than the last. So if he asked you for a picture last time, then he's going to ask you for a video the next time. And if he asked you for a video last time, then he's going to want to make a video the next time. And if he asks you to make a video the next, the last time, then he's going to want to have sex in front of people the next time. And then if he has sex in front of people the last time, there's going to be a group interaction the next time. I'm telling you, this sign is all about that. Now, on the opposite end of it all, if he is in a Scorpio that has a little bit of more air in his chart, then he may he may not be this way, but there are, most Scorpios really are into kinky escapades. But depending on what he has and going on his other chart, you may find that he has um, some some more positive attributes. But one thing I will say about the Scorpio is they're either all good or they're all, either all bad. There is no in between. And if you see any negative signs, you are dealing with a negative Scorpio. If you have a good Scorpio, he's going to be the kind that's taking, you know, that's doing all those romantic things I was saying before. And if you have a bad Scorpio, you're going to have the kind that doesn't hardly talk at all. And he's always asking you to do all of these things. I've dated two Scorpios before. I've dated a good Scorpio. I've dated a bad Scorpio. And they are completely different. Okay, it's almost like two different types of people in the same sign. So, yes, they're either all good or they're either all bad. But one thing they do have in common is that they do pay their partner a lot of attention. They don't play any games when it comes to that. So, Valentine's Day comes around, you don't have to really ask him to go and get you presents. He's just going to know to do those things. He's going to buy you chocolate and flowers and stuff that a normal man that's in love will do. And you won't really have to ask him to express that he loves you. He will tell you out of his own mouth. You won't have to you won't have to ask him, Well, do you love me? Like Gemini. You know, he'll just do those things and you also won't have to ask him to commit. He'll just naturally do those things if he's if he's interested in you. He'll he'll quickly do that. So that is everything that you need to know about a Scorpio. Some things, oh, oh, in addition to that, if you are dating a Scorpio, some things that you can do is just always talk about things that are dark and mysterious. Anything to do with the forbidden secrets, anything to do with sex and intimacy, anything to do with death and sickness and all that little weird stuff and ghost stories. Scorpio loves that, okay? Because this is that's what that sign is all about. So 
they'll go to the scary movies with you and and all that that amazing stuff they'll go trick-or-treating and everything they'll they'll do all that stuff well no never mind they won't go trick-or-treating with you because that's too childish and one thing that scorpio is not is childish they're very 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 mature men not like gemini that's very childish and likes to play around all the time this is not a sign that that's that's going to be doing all that this is a man that takes care of his business you're not going to have to tell him to go to work or pay his bills he's going to do that and another thing about scorpio men is they will take care of you too they will they'll take good care of you financially they will that's just some part of what they do they don't mind being traditional but on the other end they don't expect them to help you clean the house either okay they want you to do that they'll take care of a man's role in a relationship as long as you take care of a woman's role and y'all be happy so this is not a man that's going to be sitting here taking you out on cheap dates this is a man that will take time to spend on money on trips he'll actually do these things now he does have a little bit he like he likes to spend money but he also likes to spend money on you too so you'll be happy with him usually Scorpios on Libras tend to get along because they like how feminine we are and everything. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please comment, like, and subscribe because when you like this video, you help to bring more people to it. And um, also, if you don't like this video, you can unlike this video because I do appreciate the honesty in that as well. I hope you, you all have a wonderful week and weekend and I will continue to upload some more videos about all the zodiac signs. I'm going to finish out the men in the zodiac and then I'm going to go ahead and trickle over into the women in the zodiac signs. So, love you guys and thanks so much for watching.